For various reasons, Wardman Library's book collection has not been inventoried for five years and has never been weeded in a systematic way. There are three consequences of this situation. First, many books in the collection are way out of date. This is sometimes evidenced by a book's title and often by its imprint. Second, our collection comprises books that were never intended for a scholarly audience. In the first example here, we have a high school textbook from the 1950s. In the second, a classic of 20th century American literature that has no introduction and no critical apparatus. A third, but as we've seen, not mutually exclusive upshot, is that many of our books are in shockingly poor condition. We thought about what adverb to use to describe these books and came up with shockingly when we considered what a prospective student might think about seeing books like this in the stacks. Though of course, it's just as important to consider what our own students think and how these books might affect the research they undertake. So, how pervasive is this situation? Wardman librarians estimate that between a quarter and half of all books in the stacks fall into at least one of these categories. So, as many as one in two books in the library are either super old, unintended for a scholarly audience, and or in such poor condition that they're beyond repair. ERC and Wardman librarians suggest that at a minimum, it is necessary for every discipline at a four-year undergraduate institution like Whittier to have a core collection of scholarly books. By core collection, we mean books that are classics in the subject areas that compose the discipline, assigned regularly in classes, and or cited regularly in student research papers and projects. Unfortunately, because of the situation we've described, most of the subject area collections in Wardman Library are deficient. In nearly every discipline, core texts are damaged or non-scholarly editions of these titles, if they're not missing outright. We propose to solve this problem on two fronts. First, beginning this summer, with the help of library staff and student workers, librarians will begin an ambitious deselection and collection development project to remove and or replace books that are out of date, non-scholarly editions, or damaged beyond repair. Reviewing these titles will give librarians a better sense of subject areas that need to be culled, areas that need bolstering, and titles that need replacement. However, we'll need your help. It will be crucial for faculty members to bring their expertise to bear regularly on the process. As they review, librarians will contact faculty members in the departments with which they liaise to make suggestions about titles whose retention or replacement is debatable. Second, and concurrently, in order to begin assessing their current holdings and to develop strategic plans for collection development, we're encouraging each department to meet jointly with their librarian liaison. In short, for the next several years, ERC and librarians recommend that all faculty members focus on ordering books that will replace or augment the core titles in their disciplines that are either damaged, non-scholarly editions, or simply not held, even if this is at the expense of buying more recently published books. Another reason to replace core titles is that we create new catalog records for these books that greatly increase the chances our users will find the information they seek. For example, because it doesn't contain the word, this older record for Susan Faludi's Backlash essentially thwarts any user seeking to find books about feminism which is precisely the main subject of Faludi's work. By contrast, the new record contains contents notes, a summary, and Library of Congress subject headings. Users searching for books on feminism, or related terms contained in the new fields, will have a far easier time finding this resource. We need to remember three things moving forward. First, to start turning things around, we'll need to focus on replacing or acquiring core titles. Again, this means replacing or acquiring for the first time classic texts in the subject areas that compose a discipline, books assigned regularly in current classes or classes you're planning to teach in the near future, and or books cited regularly in student research papers and projects. Second, each department should meet with their librarian liaison. The situation in the stacks is obtained in large part because we have not been working together on collection development for a long time. Now is a good time to start. 
Finally, with the backing of ERC, each department and program will be assigned an equal portion from the acquisitions budget to spend on ordering books. However, librarian liaisons have discretionary funds to help those departments whose subject areas may need more work than others. Remember, as we look to see what core texts need replacing or acquiring, it will probably be necessary to actually go into the SACs to look at our holdings. The online catalog may indicate that we have a book, but we don't know whether it's damaged without actually seeing the book. You may have questions about the current situation in the stacks, or the weeding and collection development processes we've proposed. If not, here are a few we thought of. We strongly encourage all departments to meet with their respective librarians. At these meetings, we can answer any questions you might have about the plan more fully. Moreover, we can talk about collection development strategies and how we're going to make certain that the new books we acquire will stay in good condition for as long as possible. Finally, it's been a while since we worked together to attend to the common enterprise of collection development. But as we wrote on the handout, by paying close attention to the needs of subject areas in the stacks, teaching faculty, librarians, and library staff will go a long way to acquiring resources that will make the most sense for our main constituency, the students of Whittier College.